Day by day, the world heads towards a cleaner and greener future. Nuclear energy is one of the most power-rich, clean energy sources. However, it produces waste that must be stored to protect the people and the environment from harm. Because of the nature of nuclear products, this storage must be undertaken for thousands of years until the waste becomes safe. At our company, NDB, we asked ourselves, what if we could recycle that nuclear waste into something good? Globally, there are 34 million cubic meters of nuclear waste. The cost to manage and dispose of those byproducts is over 100 billion U.S. dollars. Utilization of radioactive waste has not been thoroughly investigated. At NDB, we propose to reuse nuclear fuel by recycling it to extract radioisotopes. This enables the nuclear option to remain sustainable for the long term and promotes a clean energy source in a safe and secure environment. Isotopes from the recycled nuclear waste release a high level of energy particles. At NDB, we said to ourselves, what if we could harness that energy? Semiconductors such as synthetic diamond or similar materials could be the answer to this question. The energetic electrons released from radioactive decay would scatter and deposit energy into the host semiconductor. This would generate a shower of electrons that generates power from the NDB. The isotope, together with the host, generates electricity on its own. We can make a battery that bleeds electricity from recycled nuclear waste. This saves a tremendous amount of taxpayers' money by eliminating the need to store nuclear waste. Best of all, because of its long half-life, this new battery doesn't run out or need to be replaced during the lifetime of the device. The battery is coated with a non-radioactive material that prevents radiation leaks due to it being one of the hardest materials on Earth. This battery is extremely safe and tamper-proof with no moving parts. It is a clean and green energy solution and when fully expended, it turns into harmless byproducts. This battery provides a solution which will effectively self-dispose nuclear waste. Here's how the battery works. DNV, the base structure of the NDB, is a collection of semiconductors, metals, and ceramics which are able to form an ohmic and Schottky contact. Different dopants enhance the structure. NDB works with techniques currently utilized in the semiconductor industry. Ion implantation of the radioisotopes to the base structure is performed by using an ion implanter. The host semiconductors are grown by using plasma-enhanced techniques such as chemical vapor deposition, a technique used to make computer chips and other nano devices. Metal sputtering will also be used. NDB is a new type of battery that goes against natural instinct. It's a battery that does not run out during the device's lifetime and could be used in almost anything that requires a battery. This battery can be used in electric vehicles, mobile phones, laptops, tablets, drones, hearing aids, watches, health monitors, cameras, satellites, and even sensors. NDB as a decay voltaic is an improvement over photovoltaic solar panels. Instead of using the sun to generate electricity, it will use radiation from decay. If used to power houses, any excess electricity could be sold to the grid. We're thinking to install NDB onto electric vehicles as a mobile power source. This will allow consumers to power their cars using NDB and also when the car is parked selling electricity to the grid, which will help cope with the ever-increasing national electricity demand. But that's not all. Because NDB doesn't need to be replaced, it's ideal for applications that are hard to reach or best left alone, such as pacemakers and implants. Another use of NDB in hard-to-reach places will be to power space electronics such as those on board a rocket. By installing NDB onto a spacecraft, it could support the electrical needs such as providing power to the cockpit, thereby assisting its launch into the upper atmosphere. NDB can be used in the spacecraft to also power communications, console controls, and other auxiliary electrical needs. When no longer needed by the rocket, the NDB could then be used to power satellites and space stations. The NDB could be used for disaster relief aid, to power survivor identification drones and radiation monitoring systems after a nuclear disaster. NDB's technology could also be scaled to act as a high-power stationary or mobile power plant. So, what are the risks? 
This new type of battery is an emerging technology, so there are specialized technical challenges that will need to be addressed. Fortunately, NDB's technical team has multiple nanotechnologists with the right expertise to bring NDB to life. The next milestone includes the development of a commercial prototype, certification of the battery, and the initiation of mass manufacture, which would create jobs and wealth. NDB could take any shape or form due to its thin film structure. However, the mass-produced products will come in either chipset form or in modular DNV stacks when high power is required. The mass-produced NDB could be licensed B2B to technology companies and B2C by retailers using a blockchain-based tokenized energy subscription model. NDB is a clean and green battery technology made of recycled nuclear waste. It does not run out and has applications in almost anything that requires a battery. The NDB will provide sufficient benefit to both society and environment, both financially and ecologically.